Well, here to debrief this new traffic dynamic uh, is the traffic dream team themselves. That would be Samuel <laughs> King and who he affectionately calls himself the King's Apprentice. Yes, Stephen the King's Cavazos. Apprentice. <laughs> I think it's a great title. We need to add that to the bottom of the uh, banner there. I'm no, glad you guys no, are here. No, this no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Good to see you both. Yes, yes thanks Good for being Good to see you too. Well, you know, first off, uh, Samuel, you made the transition to the evening. So mm -hmm. have you seen a difference on the roadways? Tell us about that. Yeah, like, it's just different traffic patterns. It's not just sort of inverting what happens in the morning, you know, because mm -hmm. we are kind of spread out, have different nodes and, and everything. So uh, it is busier, and that, that's typical in a lot of places. It's just people, especially now that stuff has opened up, people are running more errand, people run more errands in the evening. They may be meeting people, stuff they don't necessarily do in the morning. So you kind of see sort of more hot spots uh, in the evening than you do an, in, instead of purely people going to work or dropping your kids off at of school and then going to work. Uh, I've been watching. It's been it's been good stuff. Now, Stephen, I'm stuck with. Uh, you, you, can, you, can, <laughs> can you give our viewers a little behind the scenes look at how you monitor the roads and report traffic? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a really interesting thing. I always like to say there's a bunch of facets that go connect together to give our viewers that information that they need when they need it. And I think we have a behind the scenes clip right there. This was actually earlier today in the traffic lab. Uh, usually what we do is first thing I like to do is check with TransGuide, you know, what's happening around the city. What are you guys spotting? They have a bunch of cameras. You know, we verify that through text dots. Sometimes they'll show collisions, some construction that's happening there, some lane closures that are happening, or maybe we can expect later on. You can see right there my wonderful finger that's just pointing at all the issues that are happening that morning. So uh, the, the and our system, obviously, it all kind of connects together, and we put that in our system and build those sequences and make sure our viewers can get the most up-to-date information, again, when they need it, because we know as people like to travel at 5 o'clock in the morning and getting, as Sam said, getting to work and making sure that they get there on time and, more importantly, safely. And Samuel, mm -hmm. for you, you know, Kesa has never had an evening traffic anchor. Mm -hmm. And so another thing viewers are getting from you are traffic and transportation stories. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the stories you hope to bring that audience and how can they get involved? Yeah, we do a little of those in the morning, as you guys know. But the evening offers opportunity to have a little more time. And then, you know, people are actually awake when you call them. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a big deal. That's that uh, there, too. Uh, so. But yeah, looking at traffic, looking at uh, construction projects, there are big construction projects, 1604 projects going to get going here. Uh, there's some other ones that are planned. They may or may not have funding, so exploring those sorts of things. Also sort of mobility issues, hopefully either today or tomorrow we'll be looking at um, the Alamo Area Planning, uh, Metropolitan Planning Organization. They have a, they're having a public input right now about how to spend uh, Three hundred million dollars in transit funding. We told you about that a few uh, months ago here in the morning show, but now the public has a chance to weigh in. So we're going to be doing uh, pieces like that. So uh, just an expanded sort of look at you know mobility and transportation, and it's not just uh, cars. You know we, we all love our cars here in, in San Antonio, but you know. It's, but there are also efforts to expand biking and make it easier for people to bike, make it safer for people to walk sure. and, and things like that. So well, exploring all of those things. All those things. Well, transportation is going to yeah. be a huge issue. What, seventh largest city in the country, mm -hmm. continue to grow leaps and bounds. So I'm glad we have a two-man team yes. for this. Let's uh, get personal for just a second. We're all drivers here. We all deal with the, the ever-growing traffic situation. Uh, biggest traffic pet peeve for you, Stephen? You, you know, I cannot stand seeing people in our, in our community, anywhere on any roadway, texting and driving or recording themselves while they're driving. I get on Instagram and that's something I see from a lot not of people. Not while you're driving. No, not when I'm driving, no. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. But I do it at home and I, I do it, you know, when I have some downtime. But I, I see it, uh, people just filming themselves on the road are, you know, giving them, I guess, their followers an update on what they're doing. Uh, you should be focused on the roadway, focus on driving because we're not just responsible for our lives, but we're responsible for other people's lives out on the road. And that is my biggest, biggest pet peeve. Yeah. Put the phones down, San Antonio. Distracted get, drivers. Distracted get, drivers. Get your co-pilot to record yeah. you. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you have somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Something different. Mr. King, what about you? Pet peeve number one for, for, for driving or drivers? Turn signals. Yes. Oh, I yeah. don't know where you're going. That's a big <laughs> one. Turning, are you, are you speaking are you the going, truth? Are you, you know, what are you doing? Yeah, and, that's you know, very A lot true. of people don't do it to the last minute. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, I might tend to do it too early, and that annoys people too. <laughs> but <laughs> but I think I'd rather right. Yeah. I think I'd rather it too early than you know than too late. So that that's the other thing. And just you know, just safe safer driving. You know, we don't 
It's San Antonio, you know, take it easy. You don't have to mm. yeah. get everywhere. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I agree. You know, so quickly, yep. you know. Well, it's fantastic having you guys both here. Uh, we know our viewers expect more, and that's why Samuel is now on the evening shift as well. So, th gentlemen, Yay. thank you. Thanks Best of luck here. to both thank of you. you. Glad you're yeah. both a part of the KSAT family. Good yeah. to see you guys again. Come back and visit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Well, Next time yes. we'll bring snacks. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Coffee yeah, and donuts. use the whole table now. Yeah. There you go. It's good to have four people up here again. Feels great. I'm like trying not to fall over here. Though. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> New set orientation meetings coming up next week. <laughs> it's about 940.